This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. New video shows someone opening fire in downtown Cincinnati. This happened on May 16th on Rosa Parks and 2nd Street. Police say 34 rounds were fired from two guns, and one of those guns has been used in nine shootings across the city in a 10 month period. The people seen in this video are believed to have attended Doan's graduation at the Cintas Center earlier in the night. Police say this maroon four door Chevy Impala then picked up some of those involved in the shooting. No one was hurt, but the Kroger Building, Dixie Terminal, and PNC Tower were hit. If you have information, give Crime Stoppers a call. 513-352-3040. A federal court ended the redistricting map debate in Ohio for now, but the state still has no maps beyond 2024. At least two Republican members of the Ohio Redistricting Commission want to wait until after the November election to map out new districts, even as the state's Supreme Court ordered them to get to work now. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here is Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Tanya, as we look at it, clear and 55 degrees, just a beautiful overnight. And our Saturday, maybe getting out washing the car, temperatures are going to be generally in the 70s for most of the day. Festival season's beginning this weekend, and uh, you'll notice temps are a little warmer. We're going to be in the 80s for the afternoon. Beautiful weather for the weekend, just ahead of some rain and storms that start next week.